Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Sly Fox, and today it's round four of the November 2021 Ancient Tournament Quality of Life update. And uh, like mostly, I play around all the globe from uh, last time. Uh, USA. We now move on to Japan to Yotaka Fish. Hi, Yotaka Fish. How are you doing? Doing all right, feeling loose. <laughs> Yeah, Wesley really made his words come true after he, he told me after my match against Vlad that you get two for truckers, and I really did get two for truckers. Ooh. <laughs> and we're gonna see another build up here. We're gonna see Baha the Fiend in the starting with an Uranak who's uh spent wrecked after an author entered the ring and a wheel pike starting and a Nightmaster rest. So we're gonna see. Uh, actually, before initiative, so this is gonna be interesting. Hmm, this is gonna be an interesting one. So, for your attacker, it's middle, uh, close to midnight, right? How you yep, said? yeah, just about three minutes. Yep, three minutes till. Yep, and for me, it's 4 p.m. Yeah, so uh, you have the, the the stressful Friday behind you and can enjoy your uh, uh, after day beer, <laughs> relax a little bit. Yeah, or or three, whatever. I'm interested what you got cooking into your deck. I mean, you're coming quite far till now, so uh, mostly l rolling lucky. Oh, <laughs> which will end with planer. <laughs> Uh, luckily, I got the planner starting. Ooh. Maybe this yeah. helps a little bit. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. So, yeah, I don't want to consume so much from your time because the day is getting off on your side. Um, you're good to go. Yep. All okay. right. Try five. Yeah, I start the timer in three, two, one. Okay. Nope, sorry, I already uh, drew. No <laughs> problem at all. Mm. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mulligan. Yep. I think that's for a mulligan. Okay. Smash the M button. All right. No, not exactly what I wanted. Okay. Um, <laughs> that, initiative. That, that happens. Oh, so I think you start. Thirteen. Yep. Twice. Alright, so initiative react. Fifth grid comes into play. Um, I'm just gonna throw one up here so remember that level ones come into play or one rank higher. Mm-hmm. Uh Ernax gonna react, so fifth grid is going to take a swing at a let's say this regret shadow. Yep. We're going to give him a quick strength. That's sweet. I would like... Uh, any reacts more from your side? Uh, nope. Okay, I would like to use my react and try to stealth that one. And I uh, did. Ooh, okay, Nightmaster rests to Bithgrid to give him another swing. I'm going to give him another quick strength. Ooh. We're to go against the regret shadow that uh, used the stealth. Mm -hmm. no. And miss. I am then going to play blind the gods. Mm -hmm. So go put your hand back. I'm going to do that one. Gonna say he's got plus ten to attack. And I'm gonna clone this bad boy here and just leave it up there as a reminder.
Mhm. Okay, then I start. Right. And then I start my initiative. Oh yeah, it's an initiative. Yeah, I thought they sometimes is uh, <clears throat> took this time. Uh, by Bahia on mm -hmm. this this regret shadow. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually hits. That is true, sir. I'm gonna. Use my order and kill that one. Okay. He does. Um, let's see. I am going to pass. Let's try to kill the. I want to kill, kill, want to kill the brisket. That's good. good, good. Yeah, we go for the brisket. Yes. Okay. I'm going to use for truckers react. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to mark that a counter. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's draw three. <laughs> Thinking, what is one of the best decisions? I, su I suggest you spend the nemesis back. <laughs> That's a good decision. Um, it would help me out a lot. That may be true. Let's try to phantasm something. Oh. <sighs> Jackals? Is it jackals? Not a bad decision. Hmm. No. We go for Death Frog. And I'm gonna return that beauty. Mm hmm. And your turn. Uh, yep. Let's see. Well, for trucker, it's got to cast incentives. I'm going to target Bithgrid and uh, Bahia. Mm -hmm. Bithgrid is going to reach into the second rank and go after the blaze. Mm -hmm. Good to roll. Yep. Oh my goodness. No. Nope. Did that actually hit by accident though? 10, <laughs> 12, 15 hits. Oh. oh, you got plus 10. I was thinking plus 5. Yeah, I take that. And. Point. Okay. Oh, that's right. He's got two wounds. That's right. That's what he does. No, I should have gone by. I, uh, no. Okay. And. Bahia is going to swing at um yeah the ready regret shadow. So I would like attempt to start. Yep. Nope, you can't, sir. Okay, and that hits. Miss. It's a spell strike. Oh, it's a spell. Um... Oh, damn it. I'm an idiot. So... I need to drink less. I need to drink <laughs> less before playing Warlord. No problem at all. Um... Hmm, what could come up? Hmm. 
Let's play a Ruka Cheddar. Comes into play rank two because of oh, the uh, Bith Grid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, for that, then we move this one up. Uh, react. Outmatched oh. with Bith Grid. Mm. Yes. Oh, that one does hit. That is and true. And he's going to use his react, so I'm going to put a two on him, saying he's level two there. Mm -hmm. The two hit points, also level two. I'm going to react as well. Uh, okay. Good job. Yeah, uh, wait a second, wait a sec. Before you have to do that react. After he dies. Pays the cost of a react to one of your character's action strikes. So I can't bail passing that, can nope. I? Nope, because after the yeah. death, the action is done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, not that I'm holding a bail passing. Mm, uh, you didn't hear what you said. Def definitely, definitely not having that. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Um, all right, uh, pass. I'm going to play the Regret Shadow. Yep, pass. Uh, we go in for the Uranak. Okay. Oh no, it's Bahar the Fiend. Yes, Bahar the Fiend is dead. And the Uranak. No, but he's gonna flip. Flippity flip. Good turn. Uh, pass. Check out some more. Pass. Jump. Then. Yeah, pass. Death, Death Rock on Ornak. Yep. Yes. And on Birthkit. Yes, for one. Yep, that kills him. Yes. And I guess I'll just scoop. Okay, round two. Yep. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Do, do, do. Oh, oh, no. Hmm? What are you trying to do? <laughs> no, last time I uh, tried to go to the sideboard. Ah, yeah, that's a little bit tricky. You scoop the deck. Yes. Yeah. And then you uh, choose but... to side deck. When I scooped the side deck, it didn't let me change the cards that were in play. Mm -hmm. Like the cards that start in play. So I want to change those as well. So you change the starting or you're just sideboarding? Um, I'm, start I'm changing the siding. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's see, one, two, three. Where'd they go? Uh, sorry, I need to... No problem at all. You ain't the first one who got problem with that one. <laughs> Trying to change my start. Otherwise, blame the beer. But beer can't be wrong, so... <laughs> I think I read that in the Bible somewhere. Yeah, it's in the holy yeah. drink. I mean, it's Germany, it's, it's a base law to get to it, <laughs> so it must have a reason. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, save deck. Just, I'm gonna. It's not letting me change these guys out, so I'm just doing this. So you change your starting as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm changing my start from my side deck. Ah, uh, your whole side deck is all five characters. Cool, interesting. <sighs> So we're going to see gun direction. Oh. 
oh, 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 did I put that in the side there? Yeah, I did. Sorry. One of those. Where are you? Sorry. It's meant to keep him out. Mm hmm. Here we go. Okay. See if this does me a little better. You know, we're gonna see. So let's draw. Uh I'm gonna mulligan that one. Yeah, me too, but I don't wanna accidentally have to reset all this up. So I'm just gonna do it like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, okay. I rolled a 13, sir. Ooh, you're wow, very, very... I wasted it. Wasted it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to put a Loric into play. I'm going mm -hmm. to react with Nightmaster Rest. I'm going to use some good old quick strength. And he's aiming at the blazy blaze. No. Uh, so what's that? A six against the fourteen. I'm gonna burn one of these two just to get rid of them. And yeah, we get another one. That one was in there. Ah, too bad that didn't work. Okay. So. I use my order and kill that Loric. Yep, that's a good play. Um, I'm gonna drop a Kyrak and react to draw a card. Am I good? Mm, you're good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna strike the Kyrak. Okay. No, I called for one. I get one. I'm going to swing at this guy. He would like attempt to stealth. Nope, and you can. Okay. Nope. Okay, this guy goes on a uh, Gunda. Yeah, what goes on Gunda? I mean, she gets K bonuses. Yeah, why? Well, Man, she missed. Yeah, Gunda. Six miss. Hmm. Um, let's see. Let's drop a Sanuris. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to get this Anuris. Okay. What in the heck are these rolls? Let's see. Sanuris is going to go against the one that used stealth. Mm -hmm. Hits and uses his react. That is true. Mm. Let's play a Ross. Oh. Interesting. Let's drop another Loric. So let's go for the Loric. Okay. Yep. yep. Um. One wound. I'm going to use a foot trucker there. Mm -hmm. And give him an extra hit point for a bit. And I'm going to use Loric to go after this ready one. Mm -hmm. yeah, I believe that's a yes. Yeah. That is a yes, sir.
Let's play. The other tough magic. I don't remember this does. Give me a moment. No problem. Roger. Um, hmm. Uh, pass. Oh, that beer's already gone. That's Player Fed Tavern. <laughs> Boo. No, I think that's a good decision. We Fed Tavern on Death Rock. And gonna return that, sweetie. Mm-hmm. And we try to scrap. And we missed. Um, I'm gonna pass. Hmm. So this Death Rock goes on Kagrek. Yes. Oh, Kagrek. He dies, or she dies. Yeah, let's see. And let's go for the Sanuris. Okay. Yes, one wound. Right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass here. Then gonna play this one. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give one more pass. So let's suicide charge if you give me the time. So we go for a Gunda. Okay. Yes. Uh, reacts. The same Gunda with the react. Uh, five, nine, and same Gunda with the react. Yes. And he's gonna throw. And. Yep. And I'm going to react with Gunda. Oh. Outmatched. Oh. Yeah, and for that. It's just a plus three, not 13, but. Yeah, just. Okay. Mm, yeah, do the do the read. Okay. There. No, ten misses. Uh, ten, ten misses. Yes, that's true. So uh, then it's your turn. Yep. Uh, Gunda's gonna go after the. Uh, you know, yeah, Gunda's gonna go after the Inferno here. Mm-hmm. Do I want the roll? Do I go for it? Yep, yeah, just roll. Okay. Nope. Just like to throw that one, but I'm too scared that you got some dirty ready tech there. So we go. All right. Uh, Gunda is going to swing at the Inferno again. Yeah, but this time I'm going to react. Okay. You get a ward, sir. All right. Yep, and I react as well. Mm hmm. Swing. That's a wound. Yep. So this death walk getting a black mouse. Okay. Uh 
the altar is going to kill uh, Gunda. With the wound? Mm hmm. Then I'm going to take. I take the Thanuris. Getting second. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, the altar is going to kill Lorik. He's going to die soon, anyways. Mm -hmm. It's an extra charge. Falls forward. I pass. Uh, I also pass. <sighs> Four. Nine. nine. I'm going to start. I try to eat the altar. Yep. Yes. Uh, um, hold on a sec. I'm just thinking. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm going to use Fed Trucker's order. Mm -hmm. Then the temple, uh, altar again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm going to use Cheat Death. Mm. After pulling the character kills target lower, inflict a wound on this character target playing the same yep. location orientation. Yep. Uh, this character don't have any charges in them anymore. No, it's got one charge. But just back. one, but not that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, let's see. Incentives. Um, mm, obviously on my front rank. <laughs> mm, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna you're not gonna kill my own guys yet. Uh let's see. Okay, so Gunda is going to go after the inferno here. Mm hmm. And so you you've been targeted. Are you gonna react or? Yeah, I do. Uh, but uh, you think you have to target both? You have to target both first, both. Oh, 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 oh so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well. Who's the second target? Target up to two characters. So you take taking yep, yep. your two characters, yep. and then you're gonna. Which one you're targeting? With Gunda, you're targeting the Inferno and the other the one. The Inferno, yeah. And the other one, I'm also, I guess, going after the Inferno. Okay, I'm just, just wondering. Okay, I like first to react on the Gunda. Yep. He's getting a wound. Yep, and she reacts as well. Mm -hmm. So to the inf let's see, what am I rolling? A yeah, a lot of a plus eight, 10 thirteen, uh, I mean. eight, thirteen mm -hmm. on your fourteen. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So on the inferno, it hits. Yes, I'm gonna zero the flash that one. 
Yep. And the uh, I'm going Gunda uh, is wait, going wait, wait. to still have a react with the other altar of magic. Oh, yep. Yes. All right, and Gunda is going to uh, react here, coming into play. Yep, I react as that well match. and strike him first. Yep. And he's dead. Yep. And doesn't really matter. Oh, wait. So the altar is going after your Inferno. Yeah, react on the altar. Yep. Dead as well. Yep. And I'm going to make you roll it out, buddy. Yeah, I see. I see. Uh... <sighs> I think it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the Nightmaster S. Yep. Nope. Yep. Isn't that a... Oh, I'm an 11, so... Yeah. 5 plus 7 is 12, right? That's true. I missed. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You regret Shadow. I yes. was thinking the fire. Your yep, turn? go ahead. Uh, cutting Northwind. That pass. Mm. Cutting Northwind teleport. Yep. Hmm. Let's go for the. I really think that's this stupid. I think. Uh, I mean. Why not? Let's pull the strings, the Night Master S. Yep. And it's mine. Yep. One card. Yep, yep. I'm gonna. Uh, your turn? You're passing, right? Uh, hold on. Uh, wait a sec. Yeah, I'm passing. I'm gonna use my order and kill my own character to get rid of that. Oh, you're not gonna have the north wind move forward and then take a wound. Itself to put in the front rank and then kill my guy, so you have him in the front rank spent. <laughs> I can't move him up anymore already. Um, so you start on the front, so let's go for it. Uh, on your warlord? Yep. A wound? Yep. Yeah, and I can use Black Moth to be sure. But first, I'd like to strike. A wife and. A 13. Your turn. Uh, I still can't do anything. Yeah, moves up. Teleport. Ross on your warlord. And he did it. <laughs> Just to be sure. Yeah, nice. The undeck truck is running, looking like it. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's what I was... Ooh, I was wondering if there's still coming level 1 character, but I have used my order. Mm, nice. <laughs> yeah, so it wouldn't have done anything on your deck, your setup. I basically lost to this guy here. To yeah, yeah, yeah. For for Nostrock one hit point, it's a really, really bad one. Still yeah. yeah. Your checker. Uh is that was way quicker than expected. Well, this whole deck is basically if I don't win first turn I explode. <laughs> uh, I'm exploding by the end of first turn, whether I win or lose. <laughs> okay, yeah, but 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 I like it. I mean, um, sure, it's a more risky starting with the Bahar the Fiend. Um, but you make a lot of pressure. I think you got outmatched. You got um, Feral. You have um, maybe Atmog. you assume I have a Feral in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming you, okay. didn't, you, you didn't see one, but <laughs> I mean, even after 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 first turn, he could give a level one character a second hit point, which is quite good if you got bricked or Sanuris. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, but why not? So, Yotaka, it's always a pleasure to play against you, especially um, Hi, yep. to meet one who is uh, living in Japan. Uh, this is one of a lifetime go for me as well. Ah, just want to see what... I really like the culture there. Well, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have been here so long. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, and especially Germany and Japan got uh, an... an, an, an connected path <laughs> well i mean not always history. the best one yeah but we both are uh, considering here from the german side is that we still respect japanese a lot what? really a lot because well, we I think mean, oh yeah your turn mm -hmm. sorry no go ahead uh because uh, we think we even think you're working too hard even a German one is saying, okay, I think we, we, we're doing fine in Germany. And then you see Japan and say, like, my gosh, these guys are totally not. They do way more than we. I mean, we got 30 days of, of holiday in the year. Japan, 14, the half. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. Oh, we got an eight hour. I, I'm one of the shift. only people, I, I'm only one of the, I'm like one of the only people in the entire office who uses all their holidays. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, yeah, it's normal for Japan to l l let the holidays strike by for the company. Yeah, well, not yeah. just the company. Like, uh, it's it's one of those things where you can the following year you can pass on like a certain number of days, mm -hmm. but then a lot of people will end up like you know passing those on, but then they can't take all that time off, mm -hmm. and it's not just a uh, you know it's not like a non-desire it's like well if i don't do my work it doesn't get done and then if it doesn't get done that causes problems all around so yeah. and i mean the normal day shift is 10 hours or something like that i heard is that true uh well yes and no it depends on where you're at if when you're in the private companies it's a little different the contracts i'm 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 a public employee so my contract <laughs> runs a little different Okay. Yeah, but it's so, interesting to see that one because we German think uh, what we like and we are connected to it. So you're very accurate. You're on the point. Uh, you're uh, you're very uh, on the time when when you got a meeting. We so there's many similar things to Germans, and uh, this is something that I really, really, really like. And well, we enjoy the slow culture that you have there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, when I was back in college, uh, I went to Germany for about three weeks, and I'd love to go back at some point in my life, but... Yeah, hey, tell me. I know, I want to take the, the family there. I was, And I, and I next know. time I go, I won't go in the January where it's cold in Germany. frozen. Yeah, try, well, try more May. May, is, uh, May, I think, I, at least, yeah, I've, I've got birthday in May, but I think it's the best month of the year because springtime is in, 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 the, in, in, in the bloom and everything is lively and you go outside in a shirt at night it's cold enough to sleep with a with, with full stuff i really like the spring in germany yeah well i'm i'm from right outside boston so i was used to the cold so when i went to germany and it was cold <laughs> i was like oh this is just like home this, mm, no, no so difference i'm fine home sweet and home with of... more pretzels and wurst <laughs> yeah <laughs> gosh yeah and so much pretzels everywhere <laughs> yeah in the south of germany definitely and in, in, in the medium and north ain't that much but yeah ah uh, yeah i was in bavaria for my stay for most yeah. of it because um that's where my sister's husband was stationed at the army base mm -hmm. the u.s army base down there the so, Rammstein? Yeah. uh it was in ansbach ansbach okay hmm um, but just down there and, uh, like pretty much every morning was like bakery, fresh baked bread. And yeah, but that is a specialty in Germany. We love our breakfast bread and Brötchen and uh, stuff like that. We really love it. I, 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 when I, I ate so much, I probably like my main meal was breakfast bread. <laughs> yeah. And you can, di you can dip <laughs> everything on it. You put Worse, uh, sausage, cheese. We got a huge breakfast culture. Yeah, that's yeah, that's and true. then, and then everywhere I went, the I was like, ah, I don't, I'm not, I've been drinking a little too much. Like, oh, here's a tea for that. <laughs> 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 like, uh, I think I got a bit of a cold. Like, oh, here's a tea for that. That'll help you. I'm like, oh, I guess in Germany, a tea's just the cure for everything. <laughs> it's got a tea for everything. 
Hmm. Sometimes. I got a cold, got a hangover, got a cough. Oh, I want this kind of tea for that. Stub mm-hmm. my knee. Oh, you want this kind of tea for that. Yeah, th- that's true. I think I even got a, um, a, a special tea when I'm ill here in my house. Um, it's... Um, we call that one Krümmel, I must I think. If you if you if you uh eat a fresh bread or brötchen and you squish it, it breaks apart into little crumbles, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, we got tea which is called crumble tea. This is um egg um egg, egg, egg uh tea powder which mm-hmm. when you sip uh, when you you, you not sip in, uh, when you shove over hot water, it uh, get off and you have the finished tea, and it's called mm-hmm. Ricola tea. So this one is a very, very strong um, herb tea. I really like that one. But it smells like thousand herbs when you make that one. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, like, when I, I, I feel like the, the German tea culture is just as complex as the beer culture, like, but yeah, not yeah. more so. <laughs> I think the beer culture is... A, Oh my gosh! The, I think I mean yes, it's a total cliche, but it is really that that the way it is. Each local village or or, or living, I know, I know what it's called, Christ. Um, it's probably not called Christ. No, no, no. In German, it's called Christ. Uh, Christ, which oh. means it's a, a huge. Uh, not a village, but when more villages get into a, a huge area to one point, it's called mm-hmm. area. I don't know what the English word for that one is. So e- nearly each area has its own brewery. So you oh, can yeah, go yeah. nearly everywhere in Germany. And I really say everywhere, you will find a local beer. that, that You can't escape from that one. Yeah, what was I drinking? I was trying to remember. I think it was like Tuka, I think the name was. Like T U C H E R. I think that was what they had. T H. I might be forgetting. Tuka? What was it? Two? It's like T U C H E R, I think. Tuska? I'm, I mean, I'm going. Tuska? Tuski? I, I'm going back like 20 years, so I uh, might be. T Y S K S K I I E? Was was with a crown on it? It had a blue label with a crown a and label. a little guy on it. Blue. I'm not, uh, give me a sec. Um. <laughs> I think we've got off the world to talk. <laughs> yeah, no problem at all. I mean, it's my beauty. If people didn't want to see that one, <laughs> it'd be free. Well, we... I'm going to look for that one. Uh, König Schofener. It was a normal beer or it was a mixed beer? Yeah, I think it was a normal beer. I remember. Uh, it was just yeah. like whenever I went to anywhere, it's like the beer that they gave me in all the local restaurants, bars, McDonald's, mm. whatever. Berkönig, Chimay, no, Feltins, no, I don't think thing. That's a big problem. Trust me, I I heard that we have so many beer lords. I didn't even try it, everyone, or didn't even know anyone. But I can tell you, um, I prefer my beer more a darker one or a stronger flavor. Mm-hmm. One. Um, the normal stuff that you can buy in a grocery store, like Becks, like König Pilsner, stuff like that. The, the the main markets in Germany, I think they're totally crap. Because if you buy one, <laughs> they all taste the same. So I'm looking more for specific taste ones. And um, ooh, there are some good ones I really enjoy. But they cost more, and I mean, a whole box of it is twenty euro. But it's worth mm-hmm. it. Twenty-four bottles full of love. Yeah, I actually, I think that's when I started drinking like uh, the Dunkels. Is that how it's pronounced? The dark beers, the German mm-hmm. dark Dunkels. beers. I really got into those. Was ah, uh, there the best ones are the dark Weizen, the Dunkel Weizen. Mm-hmm. Mm. And you know Weizen. This is the half half liter ones. Um, they're mm-hmm. pretty fa- famous in the source of Germany. Yeah, yeah. Weizen. And this is possible as a dark Weizen, a dunkel Weizen. Oh, man, I love that one. In summer, I could drink liters of it. <laughs> if, if you ever get the chance to drink a dunkel Weizen, oh, man, I love that one. Uh, yeah. I, I know I was trying. I really started drinking those, like, before that, you know, I'm American, so 
I actually didn't drink. I drank regular. I drank mostly like the Sam Adams and stuff around from Boston and some craft beers when I could afford it because I was a poor college kid. Um, <laughs> but I went to Germany and I had these Dunkles and they're like, you know, the price I was paying for like this crappy Budweiser. And I was like, oh my God, what are we doing in America? <laughs> I still tell him, Mitch, that his butt light is dishwater for us. I'm not lying. Uh, oh, it's it's not dishwater for just for you. It's for everyone. Okay, so it's <laughs> it's it's not just you. <laughs> oh, thanks, God. Sorry, Mitch, if you see that one, <laughs> but it's dishwater. Um, no, it's they, there's actually some of the Japanese like big brands. It's the same. It's like you, if. You have to pour it out and drink the whole thing at once, other because when it gets warm, it just tastes so terrible. Yeah, that's true. So that's why in Japan they've actually just recently, and by recently I mean the last like five to ten years, like the craft beer scene has been getting larger. Which a lot, some of it's really not good at all, but mm. at least it's not the same carb dishwater. <laughs> yeah that's true I'm a, it's, uh, it's a, oh, 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 I see something that I shouldn't and on uh, 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 the left and uh, on the right uh, left and the right down button there was a label which wasn't which was Neoba style your version if you know what I mean uh, what was the other yeah, what was the beer I was drinking when I went to Munich? Oh, yeah, think for a sec, and I'm going to tell you a funny story. Um, I mean, sure, in Germany, you can start drinking beer with 16. And uh -huh. trust me, I did. I did before, <laughs> but I did. So, but the main problem is you have a lot of time, you have a lot of less money, because you have nearly nothing, and you want to get drunk. So what you're going to do in my past of the youth... We buy the cheapest beer that we could get. I mean, a bottle for, if a euro would be is uh, one dollar, it would be I don't know, a zero three three liter beer can that would mm -hmm. be thirty cents, twenty five cents. <laughs> so nearly nothing, and the it it tastes horrible. It's too herb. I didn't like it, but. We had only just some few marks, so we buy a whole pallet, which was 24 cans. And the first three, we just exed because you couldn't drink it. It tastes terrible. But after the fifth one, it was getting better. So we were young, we didn't have a lot of money, and we exed five beers. And then we enjoyed the rest of the evening with a crappy beer, which didn't taste that crappy anymore after you exed five once. Yeah. Uh... When when I was that young, I mean, hypothetically speaking, if I had partaked before I was legal, um, <laughs> we we would just pool our our uh, our money together and get something hard and make a weekend, or make make a night out of it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd like yeah. get a bottle of rum or something, or a bottle of vodka. You're young and you have time, and great stories yeah. didn't start with a salad. <laughs> no, no great story started with. So I, I, I was kind of tired. It was like 9.30. So I went to bed that Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, gosh. I, I, th yeah. I, I think you want to end that one. So I'm uh, thanking you a lot for playing with me. And I even have the, the after match chat. That was quite nice. <laughs> it's always, always a pleasure to play against you. Yeah. It's really nice to play you again. It's been a while. So That's true. Uh, good luck in your next match. Um, and I hate the Nemesis. It has nothing to do with your deck. It's just I never beat Nemesis decks no matter what I'm playing. <laughs> I'm sorry for that one. I think my next opponent, if I see that right, if I get skewed up or skewed low, it is Cleric, uh, Celtic, or it might be, you know, Forge Cake or Tony. Alizara, Albrecht, something like that. Whew, I'm gonna see. There's a lot of sixes up there. So, but I think I'm gonna declare it against the first spot that would be Celtic. I mean, Celtic have one was for Trucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Celtic won. Two one. Oof. Yeah. Uh, the lo the I, think I, <laughs> I think my only chance is I gotta win the next round to advance to the top eight. Maybe. With a three wins and a one, 
tie, maybe? You know, five rounds is really, really hard to tell. Uh, if it's yeah. enough or not, because, I mean, the eighth spot could be one less possible. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pushing my thumbs for you. So, we may see us back again, Yotaka. I thank you a lot for playing with me. So Yeah, no it, worries. You, like always, the opponent have the last words, so be free. Ah, uh, well, uh, uh, I guess thanks for having me, and uh, good luck the next round. And, you know, see you next tournament. Possibly. Yeah, you as well. <laughs> and thank you everybody for watching. I'm out.